I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Old Testament law is not as harsh as the New Testament law. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you've been daring to be Lutheran with us, or learning about your Christian faith from some people you never expected to learn it from, a sleeping dog and a Lutheran pastor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization which is all about passing the gospel to our church's youth and young adults, keeps us going. You've heard people say before, well, hey, Thor, welcome to the party. You've heard people say before that um, that's just the Old Testament. The New Testament, God is much kinder. He's much great, more gracious. He's much more easygoing. And I'll tell you, from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, to this week's traditional gospel lesson, that that is dead wrong. You see, Jesus turns the volume up on the law to 11. It's a bad throw on my part. You have heard it said, you shall murder, you shall not murder, but I say, um, if you hate your brother, if you call your neighbor a fool, you're deserving of the fires of hell. Yes. So, it was murder, and now it's hate and calling somebody just simply a fool. Uh, you have heard it said, you shall not commit adultery, but I say anyone who looks lustfully at a woman is committing adultery with her in her heart. Again, it was just adultery and now it's lust and looking at somebody. You see, the God of the Old Testament is the same as the God of the New Testament. The law in the Old Testament is the same law in the New Testament, but when Jesus, when Jesus preaches on that law, when he expounds on that law, he it, it, it makes it worse. It's not just uh, hurting your neighbor, uh, 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 harming your neighbor. It's not helping your neighbor. It's hurting your neighbor in his body. It's, it's hating your neighbor. It's despising your neighbor, not helping them. It's, it's, it's calling them a fool. And if, if that's true, then all of us who have ever driven in a major city like Chicago are all in danger of hellfire. Um, and why does Jesus do this? He does this so that we would know, so that we would believe, so that we would trust in only him. Not one bit of the law is going to go away until everything is accomplished, which means none of it's going to go away until the cross. Some people think that's the last day, but I think it's the cross. The cross is where everything is fulfilled. The cross is when everything happens, which is tells you where Jesus is driving us. He's driving us to his death. This law, this law with all its authority and all its, its, its power and all its killing ability is going to kill Jesus. He's going to fulfill the law and so you are going to be saved. And that he fulfills the law is great comfort to us because it means that the law is for righteousness done. It's finished. Christ is the telos, the end of the law for righteousness to those who believe. And so the point in which the law makes us better ends in the suffering and death of Jesus. And because he has fulfilled that law, because he has taken it upon himself, there's no law out there still that God's going to get mad at you about. God's not going to wake up one morning and go, you know, I counted all their sins on Jesus, but I really... I really think there's X, Y, and Z, P, and Q still for them to do. No, every law there is, every law, every dotted I and cross T was dotted and crossed for, by Jesus on the cross. The spear pierced him. The cross is where the T was dotted. It was crossed. I really screwed that up. But you, but you, you know what I'm saying. The, the idea that somehow the God of the Old Testament is, is, is sort of more harsh than the God of the New isn't true. And the God of the New, same as the Old, expounds that law in order that we would never trust in that law. And so that we would look at the law and go, there's no way that I can do this law. And that we would flee 
to the suffering and death of Jesus, that by his death, we, even you and me, are saved. This is about Jesus saving us. The law is worse in the New Testament so that we would die to our sins and trust only in Jesus alone. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short.